for years, people have had the problem of being able to run their RVs when they're out boondocking, whatever, because lead acid batteries just don't hold that much charge. Today, we're testing two lithium batteries from Golden Mate. They reached out and said, hey, would you like to test our batteries? And I said, yes, I would. Welcome back. Today, we are switching over from lead acid batteries to lithium batteries. This is going to be a huge change. For years, everybody's ran lead acid batteries in, in their RVs, boats, everything else, but even in power tools. And nobody's buying a power tool today without a lithium battery. They just work so much better. So we're gonna install them in Kara's dad's trailer. He has his two deep cycle. They're still good, but we have two lithium, so we're throwing the lithium in. This should make a huge difference. Running their CPAP all night, running the furnace all night. There's lots of mornings when they went camping when it's cold their furnaces drain their batteries completely by the next morning. That's not gonna happen with these lithium batteries. So let's get the big ones out and put the new ones in. First thing we did, we made sure to unplug the trailer and we have the power turned off from the batteries. So there should be no current going anywhere in this trailer. Whenever you're messing with the electrical, it's always good to just turn everything off. As I unhook these, I'm just putting a little zip tie around all of the different wires coming off of each terminal. That way, I don't get anything mixed up because <laughs> there's quite a few wires here coming off the different terminals. Right here, we have all these zip tied together. That way we don't get them mixed up. And then over here, we'll zip tie these two together. One of the crappiest parts of these big lead acid batteries, they are so dang heavy. Let's see how much one of these weighs. Thirty seven pounds. Well, that looks fancy. Goldmate Orion 1000. So these are a 100 amp hour battery, 12 volt battery. Original six volt batteries were 37 pounds. And this Goldmate lithium is 28.8. That's a pretty good savings when you factor in two batteries. But also with these old lead acid, they are 20 amp hours. So between the two, he had 40 amp hours of battery. You are incredible at math. Now with two of these, we're gonna have 100 amp hours each, which is 200 amp hours of battery. There's five tons more, isn't it? That's, that's a huge upgrade. Losing weight, five times as long lasting power. I, I don't know how you go wrong, especially with the cost of these batteries. So with the Golden Mate, you get 12.8 volts, 100 amp hours, 1,280 watt hours. And these are the Life PO4 batteries. Um, it's awesome how lithium battery prices are coming down. With lithium batteries though, they don't work as well in the cold. So in the winter, he's gonna have to take these out, put them in the garage or whatever, cause they have a negative 20 uh, degrees Celsius discharge. Out here in the Uinta Basin, it gets way below that. So we're gonna have to take these out, but at least they're lighter weight, so not too big of a deal there. Now, uh, just to get them wired in, he had the old batteries wired a little bit different, so we need to look at this and see what we wanna do. So the little washers go on here? Yeah. Yeah, so you'll... So we gotta put all them... Cause I don't think it came with longer posts. A little longer than a few minutes later. I think we have it all hooked up. Um, I did have to get some longer bolts for the terminals because this setup has so many wires coming in that the short ones that came with it were just a little too short. So went to the hardware store, got some longer ones. Uh, no big deal. I love how it has the LCD screens in it so you can see, but also you have an app. Yes, I love technology. So the app will tell you your voltage, the current, the power, rated energy for watt hours, time, if it's charging or how far discharged it is. And it also tells you your temperature because you never want your batteries getting too hot. Super nice that you can be in your trailer, sitting at night, you know, furnace is running, whatever. And you're like, oh, I wonder where we're at. Bada bing, bada boom. You can check it out. 
You don't have to walk outside in the cold or press the button or have your furnace shut off in the middle of the night and be like, well, son of a bee. So um, let's go see if the lights are working the, on 12 volt and then we're gonna plug it in and see if it starts to charge. <laughs> we are in out of the wind for a second. That is a lot nicer. Um, oh, we got power. So 12 volt power is working. I think we are good on the hooked up part. Now let's plug it in and see if it starts charging. Going to plug into shore power and this should allow the batteries to start charging. Let's see what the app tells us. Now that we're plugged into shore power, just checking the app here and a little light comes on saying that we're charging. The thing with lithium batteries is they charge at like 14 volts. Um, I'm not quite sure what it's getting. I think it's about 13 and a half right now. So we'll see how, how it does charging. Three days later. It's been a few days. <laughs> we are finally out camping and we are going to test the Goldmate batteries to see if they can make it through the night. Previously, mother-in-law running her CPAP, those sort of things, makes it till about two or three in the morning before her batteries die and it's a problem. With each of these batteries being 100 amp hours, they should make it through the night, no problem. We have them charged up to 100%. Luckily it's cooled off, so we're gonna unplug the trailer so that way nothing's feeding in and we're gonna see how much battery gets used tonight. All right, I don't know if you can see that in there, but 100% on that one. Let's go over on this one. Ah, uh, so many wires. 100% there too. Now with both these being at 100%, shouldn't have any problem making it through the night but they've never made it through the night on the CPAP before with their old lead acid so let's see what happens early the next morning good morning just out for a little walkabout Kara's still asleep it's only like 6 30 got my coffee and decided might as well check at what those batteries made it to last night they shouldn't have had a problem but let's see I was kind of excited to see what the power draw was on the batteries running that CPAP all night and just the other stuff running in their trailer. It'll be so nice if these worked well because they can get off grid a lot more. All right, looking down in here, we got 71 there and I love these little touch screens. I can find the spot to touch. There we go. And 74 there. So running all night on their old system, they used to make it till like three in the morning before she ran out um, and her CPAP would shut off. So it would kill the whole battery. Last night running the CPAP all night, they got down to 74, 71% uh, in their batteries. So they could realistically go four times longer. That is pretty dang amazing. The best part of this is they really like to go up in the mountains off grid, all that sort of stuff but they have to run their generator the whole time, all those sort of things. Now they're not gonna have to. For years, people didn't change over to lithium because it was so expensive. You're like a thousand bucks a battery. But with these Golden Mates, and we'll put the link down below or up above or wherever right now so that you guys have the opportunity, if you'd like, to jump on and buy some of these Golden Mates. They're really well built. The case is awesome. The digital screen that tells you how much is charging, how many volts, how much is being pulled out, all those things is great. The mobile app, I don't have it on my phone, it's on my father-in-law's or else I would have just showed you that, but he's still asleep. I, I don't see any reason to not make the jump from your regular deep cycle to these new Golden Mate lithium batteries. One of the best things about the Golden Mate batteries is the app they come with. So I have my father-in-law's phone here and it's saying that it gives us our voltage, our current, our power, um, rated energy, time remaining. So 38.3 hours is how much longer it could run. Oh, bug in my eye. All right. Uh, right now it's down to 69%. So after all night, it drained it, you know, 30%. That's running the CPAP and phone chargers and all those sort of things. Uh, that's on that battery. So I can just click over to the other battery after that and check it. And it's at 69%. But it's nice to be able to see your voltage, all those sort of things. I don't know any other batteries that do that, and especially at this price point. If you're interested in picking some of these up, 
I have the link down below, all those sort of things. So make sure you do that. Comment below if you run lithium batteries and what you've thought. And as always, enjoy your weekend. One thing to take into consideration as you're installing lithium batteries, you need to make sure that your converter can charge 14.4 volts because lithium batteries have to have more voltage to charge. So make sure you take that into account. Uh, we need to get a new, different converter put on. Her dad did buy a lithium charger, so it is taking them all the way up and that's actually cheaper than converter, but we're just gonna ch change out the converter next week and that way it won't be a problem.